welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. And very recently, yes, uh, City dedicated a game to uh, the memory and to Sir Howard Bernstein, of course, uh, a tribute. And they dedicated the match against Arsenal at the Etihad on the 22nd of September 2024 uh, to the gentleman. And before kick-off was a dedication to Sir Howard's life. And this was read and was followed by a minute's applause, of course. Well, the match day programme had a special four-page article on him. And also a paid tribute from City Chairman Khaldun Khalifa Al Mubarak. So we'll, what we'll do in this part one of a two-parter is uh, just have a look at what was said in the program. Uh, if you've not had a chance to buy the program or you don't buy the program, uh, I'll read out this special tribute. Uh, if that's uh, if that's okay with you, my uh, little tribute myself as well uh, to to a great man but uh, we'll find out how great in a moment when we talk about uh, Sir Howard Bernstein uh, please if you are new to the channel you can support the channel in various ways you can subscribe of course if you've not already done so uh, press that bell notification all these city vlogs are coming out we do have memberships it gives you early access to all my city stuff sometimes months even over a year ahead of schedule and of course uh, if you do like the ads or follow the ads that are on YouTube that helps me out as well just let them run and then of course I do gain from that not much but we gain a little bit and of course if you can we do have sponsors at the moment as well so if you're interested in sponsoring the channel as well you're going going forward uh, please get in touch and just basically give us a like especially uh, uh, for this gentleman we're going to talk about today so this first article as I say is a tribute from the chairman it was simply entitled Sir Howard Bernstein, a visionary leader and devoted Manchester City fan. Today's match is dedicated to Sir Howard Bernstein, an extraordinary man and a dear friend whose passion for our club is almost impossible to surpass. He was a true visionary whose remarkable public service saw Manchester overcome multiple profound challenges to re-emerge re as a truly influential city and the global success story that it is today. I had the privilege of working with him from 2008 while he was rightly known across Manchester and beyond for his calm insight and composed demeanour. In sharp contrast, he was also one of the most enthusiastic and animated City fans you could ever meet. On the rare occasion he couldn't be at a game, I'm reliably informed that Bernstein living room would ignite with many tactical suggestions, bursts of unbridled joy and occasional lapses into utter despair. I'm so comforted by the fact that he witnessed his beloved City win the treble. It was a dream come true for a man who had been devoted to the club since childhood and whose tireless counsel and support would see him named honorary lifetime president, a position he was proud to hold. As Chief Executive of Manchester City Council, Sir Howard was one of the first people that I met when Sheikh Mansour acquired the club. Within minutes of us meeting, it was clear that he had a profound understanding of the human and economic impact that sport and football could deliver for the city. He also clearly foresaw the transformative opportunities and life chances we could create by working together as partners today. So Howard's vision and belief in what was possible are woven into everything you see on the Etihad campus and in East Manchester. Ultimately, Sir Howard was a rare, once-in-a-lifetime champion for change and progress. His legacy surrounds us in a succession of bold projects and initiatives for Manchester that were always built on the foundations of the community's needs. His remarkable legacy is a result of a unique ability to unite people around a clear vision with incredible humility. One of the most outstanding achievements as Chief Executive to bring the Commonwealth Games to Manchester in 2002 is something that continues to generate economic and community returns 22 years later. On the last night of the Games, rather than basking in the glory, I'm told Sir Howard said, this is just the beginning of a 20-year regeneration project for East Manchester. It paved the way for Manchester City's move to the City of Manchester Stadium, now the Etihad, and everything that sits in and around the Etihad campus. All aspects of East Manchester uh, current renaissance camp can find their origins in that vision. I am grateful for his constant wise counsel and the ambition and the determination he instilled in the club, ensuring the campus became a global centre of excellence that delivers for Manchester. The mosaic that now marks the Howard Bernstein Way, bring, uh, bridging the City Football Academy to the Etihad Stadium, is both a fitting testament to him and a reassuring reminder that his spirit of endeavour must always be present in our work. Thank you, Sir Howard, on behalf of Sheikh Mansour, the board and the entire City family. Your contributions to Manchester will resonate for generations to come, as will your love for your club. We are all committed to continuing your legacy and to continuing to play the football that you so loved. 
It finishes off Sir Howard Bernstein, 9th of April 1953 to the 22nd of June 2024 in remembrance from Khaldun Khalifa al Hubarak, chairman of Manchester City Football Group, of uh, Manchester City Football Club and City Football Group. Yes, uh, some great words, of course, from our chairman there. And this is a four page article. I'll, do, I'll just read part of it and then, of course, I'll continue it in part two for you uh, for this. Right, uh, this is the, the article that's in the in the magazine. In the, Arsenal programme. As the Chief Executive of Manchester City Council, Sir Howard had the vision to help shape the city he loved into a thriving and modern conurbation alongside his beloved city, becoming one of the leading clubs in the world. He helped Manchester to overcome profound challenges and transform into an exciting metropolis that celebrates our proud history as the industrious, hard working heart of the North and competes among leading and competing amongst the leading global cities. When you walk around Manchester now, it's easy to forget the massive transformation that has taken place in recent decades. The city continues to grow as one of the most vibrant cities in the world, recently named ahead of Los Angeles, Barcelona and Sydney in Time Out's annual list. It is a city with a unique attitude and individual style that continues to embrace the creative and scientific industries, music and entertainment as it has for generations. Sport has always been at the forefront of the city's image and Manchester City has been a major player in that 21st century transformation. So Howard could see the importance of sport and had the ambition to bring the Olympic Games to Manchester. Although the bid was unsuccessful, it did result in the building of the highly successful National Cycling Centre as the sport grew massively in success and participation and it became the base for Olympic gold medalists and Tour de France winners. The city triumphantly won the opportunity to host the 2002 Commonwealth Games which would require huge investment and the building of an iconic new stadium. Wanting to avoid having a white elephant the council needed a permanent use for the stadium and at the planning stage it was agreed that it would become city's new ground. Main Road was our much loved home for 80 years but moving to a new stadium ushered in an exciting new era. The innovative blueprint designed for long term use positioned it as an exceptional stadium for football spectators while sport-led regeneration transformed it into an engine of opportunity for the wider community. Sir Howard was a proud City fan and rarely missed a game home or away and saw the stadium grow along with the club, with another tier added to the South Stand in 2015 and work now underway on the exciting North Stand expansion. Since 2008, the area around the Etihad Stadium has changed too with our City Football Academy, one of the best training bases in the world, surrounded by many community facilities, including the Connell College, Beswick Leisure Centre and the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance. The recently owned Co-op Live Arena means that East Manchester is now home to one of the best music venues in the world. Oh, there you go. I'll carry on that article in, uh, in part two, guys. Uh, I say, uh, and our continuing tribute, of course, uh, to uh, to Howard Bernstein. Uh, so join me in part two. We'll continue this look back at the legacy of uh, Sir Howard Bernstein. Rest in peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, only ever ask one thing: don't please stay safe, everyone, especially you, Blues. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.